Hello, today we're going to be going over the Spartan Patch Complete Kit. Everything you need is going to be right in this box. You're going to open it up, you're going to pull it out, and first thing first, you're going to pull out the instruction sheet. Everything that you need in the box is going to be on this instruction sheet. It comes with your fiberglass, your tape, it comes with the work service to wet out the patch on, a spatula to wet out the resin. Comes with two pairs of gloves. Your bread ties, that's gonna put your patch on your packer. Your resin. And it's gonna come with two protective sleeves. Next, you're gonna get into your box and you're gonna pull out your 50 foot of push hose. That's what we recommend. You're also gonna pull out your packer. That's what you're gonna to use to install the patch. This is everything that you're gonna get in a replenishment kit. When you get a starter kit, you're also gonna receive these three items. A regulator, a vacuum generator, and your pull rope. These three items will not be in a replenishment kit. So make sure you hold on to these three items because the other items are all disposable. After you go through your kit contents, you're gonna pull out your air regulator and you're gonna assemble it. You're gonna take your gauge and your regulator and you're gonna simply screw them together. Screw it together until you have a snug fit. Next, we're gonna go over our equipment checklist that are things that are not provided in the kit. Air hose and an air compressor our sewer camera, something to cut the resin bag open with, wire cutters, and your test pipe. After going over our equipment checklist, we're gonna talk about inspecting the pipe. We're gonna to wanna to make sure there's no standing debris in there, any scaling, any sharp edges, anything that's gonna hurt our packer. Next, we're gonna grab our camera head and we're gonna go down to the spot of repair. We're gonna take our tape and we're gonna make a tape mark at the clean out, at the top of the manhole, wherever you're working out of, we're gonna to wanna to put a hard mark. After we have our hard mark, we're now gonna pull our camera out of the pipe and we're gonna transfer it to our push hose. After you get your mark on your camera, you're gonna come back to your table and you're gonna get your packer prepared for the dry run. Each kit, like I said earlier, is gonna come with two protective sleeves, one for the dry run, one for the live run. You're gonna make sure your packer's all nice and flat, laid out. You're gonna take the sleeve, Put it on the packer. Again, you're gonna to wanna to make sure your packer is nice and flat. There's some pre-made seams on the protective sleeve. You're gonna want those right on the sides. You're gonna have your protective sleeve about a half inch back from your black ball, your guide ball. You're gonna fold it up like an accordion. And you're gonna grab your tape. And you're gonna tape it up. Put that on there nice and tight.
you're only going to tape one end of the packer because when you go to pull your packer out when your patch is done, you're going to want this sleeve to invert. That's why you only tape the one side. All right, after we're done putting the protective sleeve on our packer, we're going to go ahead and we're going to tie our pull rope onto the packer. You can see here there's two fittings right here. You're going to want to tie the rope behind the two fittings. If you tie it up here, it's going to pull your fitting off. So we're going to attach our pull rope in front of the fittings. You're going to tie it on there and you're also going to tape it on there. That way you're ensure that you're going to get your packer back after your patch is cured. like that. After you attach your pull rope, you're going to grab your green wire ties. We're going to get the packer prepared for the dry run. We're going to start here in the middle. We're going to fold up, cinch down, one, two, and a half turns. Go right next to it. Cinch, one, two, and a half turns. grab your wire cutters and you're going to snip these about a quarter inch away from the knot that you twisted. After you snip your ties, your packer is now ready for your dry run. After you get your packer prepared for the dry run, you're going to take your push hose and you're going to connect it to your packer. Make sure you use your locking clips. That's going to help it so when you pull back out, it's not going to come apart. You're going to take your camera head and you're going to place it directly in the middle of your packer. That's going to be the middle of your repair. That way when your packer lands down to your repair, it's going to land right in the middle. You're going to take your mark that you made at the top of your clean out and you're going to transfer it to your push hose. Just like that. Put that on there nice and tight. Make sure, double check, triple check that everything is still in a straight line and your two marks line up. That way your repair is going to land where you want it to. After we prepared the packer for the dry run and we transferred our mark from our camera cable to our push hose, we're going to put this down the pipe to our spot of repair. You're going to push it down. Until you hit your tape mark. That way you know you're down to your spot of repair. After you do that, you're gonna pull back using your pull rope. You're gonna be using both of them, but you're gonna be using more pressure on your pull rope. And now you're ready for the live run. After you pull your packer out of the pipe after the dry run, you're gonna inspect the packer. You're going to make sure there's no pinholes in there, gouges, gashes, anything that's going to affect your live patch going down the pipe. If there is gouges and pinholes all over it, you need to send your camera back down there and inspect the pipe again and make sure that nothing in there is going to harm your packer. 
After you double check all those things, we're gonna do the test inflate. You're gonna enter it in the pipe. You're gonna hook up your push rod to your regulator. And you're gonna air it up to five pounds. Once you air it up to five pounds, you're gonna let it sit for five minutes and you're gonna make sure that there's no leaks or anything going on with your equipment. After we've done our test inflate and we've waited our five minutes, we're gonna make sure that everything's not leaking and we haven't lost any pressure on our gauge. If everything's good, we're gonna deflate it. We're gonna disconnect our push hose right here We're going to connect our vacuum generator. That's going to deflate it. After you've done that, we're ready to wet out the patch and get ready for the live install. Okay, once you've done your test inflate and you've realized that all your equipment's working, you're ready to wet out your patch. You're gonna put two sets of gloves on. That way when your hands get all resiny and nasty, you can strip off one set and you still have a clean pair to continue working. We got our fiberglass. We got our work surface laid out. We got our spatula. We have our bread ties ready, and we have our resin. And we have something to cut the resin bag open. So right now we're gonna step back and we're gonna make sure everything's ready to go and we're ready to go into the pipe after we wet out the patch. We're gonna grab here, and we're gonna grab here, and you're gonna pull apart, and you're gonna start mixing. You're gonna to wanna to get all the resin out of the corners of the bag and mix it all down to one end. Back and forth. Get all the resin out of the creases and corners, mix it all together. You're looking for that peanut buttery, creamy color. Cut it open. Each kit comes with the exact amount of resin. You're gonna pour half of your resin on this side. And you're gonna pour the other half on the other. You're gonna mix it in. Really focus on getting the edges wet out. You want no white spots, you want to saturate this patch and let it work in. You don't want to scrape the resin off of the fibers, you want to put that resin down into the fibers. Use all the resin that comes in the bag. Once that side's wetted out nice, you're gonna flip it over and you're gonna take the rest of your resin and you're gonna dump it out on this side. No white spots or anything. You want a nice, saturated, wetted out patch. Really focus on getting the ends nice and wetted out. Once you have a wetted out patch, you're gonna fold your work surface in so you have a nice clean area to work next to. 
take your patch and you're going to slide it in there. So like that, center it right on the middle. Take your ties. I always start in the middle, tackle it. Take your tie, place it under it, cinch, and two and a half turns. Cinch, two and a half turns. Tackle it, cinch, two and a half turns. Cinch, two and a half turns. You want this package as small as possible going down the pipe. Cinch, two and a half turns. You're gonna take your wire cutters and you're gonna snip these down to a quarter inch away from where you twisted them. Now we're ready to install this down in the pipe and get to our repair. Now that we've got our wetted out patch, we're ready to push it down to our mark that we transferred onto our push hose. Once we hit our, our tape mark, we're gonna now take off our pair of gloves and we're gonna connect our regulator to our push hose. Once we've connected our push hose to our regulator, we're gonna air up to our five PSI. Once we hit our five PSI, we're gonna let it cure for the right amount of time. In the instruction, there's a cure chart that tells you how long to wait, depending on the temperature that you're working in. Now that we've waited the correct amount of time, we're gonna deflate our patch. We're gonna hook up our vacuum generator. When you pull your packer out of the pipe, your sleeve should be inverted. Thank you for watching this instructional video on the Spartan Patch Complete. If you have any further questions, please reach out to your local Spartan representative.